Okay, in part B, we're looking for, does the velocity ever get to negative 100 meters per minute? Okay, you really, when they ask you this question, you got a couple of choices. Are they looking for, is this an IVT? Did, did we go beyond it? Did we go from, did we ever go from past negative 100? Oh, I went from 40 to negative 120. I last I checked, if I went from 40 to negative 120, I would have to go by negative 100. So I'm going to say it's IVT. But it could be an MVT. Um, please remember, with IVT, you have to talk about continuity. With MVT, that's the one where you have to establish a differentiability. MVT doesn't play with cusps. you got to have differentiability for MVT. But for the other ones, you just need continuity. All right. So let's see. Does it ever equal that? Since it's differentiable, there you go, Mr. Reader, right off the bat, I'm telling you, it's a differentiable function. So it is continuous, it is differentiable. Differentiability implies continuity. So there you go. And since at 5, we're at 40, and at 8, we're at negative 20, and since negative 100 is in between negative 120 and 40, by the intermediate value theorem, there has to be a time between 5 and 8 where that time is equal to negative 100. That would get you everything you need for this problem. All right.